So I said repstos is basically a mem set in a box, and so that mem set is being used in furtherance of the zero initialization, setting all of the b of 64 to zero. So as I gave you a hint, push EDI at the beginning, pop RD, sorry, push RDI at the beginning, pop RDI at the end. That doesn't smell like seafood, that smells like Kali save register to me. Allocate some space on the stack, calculate an address, put it into RAX, move RDX to D RDI. Well, that is probably the destination for the repstos. That's probably the beginning of the B, B of zero, for instance. Then XOR EAX EAX, well, that's going to zero out the RAX register, which means that the value which is going to be stored each time in the repstos is going to be zero. And it's going to store one byte at a time because you can see it's a byte pointer. So it's copying one byte of zero to RDI. And how many times is it doing it? It's copying it hex 80 times because hex 80 is 2 times 64 is 128. 128 in hex is hex 80. So there you go. These setup instructions and these knocked and this knockdown instruction, the repstos, are going to zero initialize the entire B of 64 short array. And after that, it's just the kind of stuff that we have seen previously in array local variable. There's indexing into B of one here. B is a array of shorts. So move to the size of a short, multiply by one, the index of the array, and you know do the access assignment and eventual return value. Well, another one bites the dust. We have added a new assembly instruction, repstos, to our assembly bag of tricks. Number 29, as other.